out in the garden. This poor little baby right here has root rot a little bit, so I treated it, replaced the soil, and I can still see some new buds are forming. So I know that I probably caught it in the nick of time, hopefully. Cause I mean, look at those. And it's so it's so rare to find little blue flowers. This one, um, it's doing all right, but it was a little yellow, so I gave it a treatment just to be safe. This is my blue moon phlox, and there's still some old leaves from last year that you dogs can have because it is it is dog friendly. There you go. Um, I don't know when this is going to bloom. Last year when I um, got it, it was already blooming in April. But it's still growing because it's a tall, it is a tall plant. So I think maybe by June. This, you need a purple amenity. Excuse me, Petra, don't get that. It is not dog safe in that it won't. None of the plants I have would kill them. But some of them would give them upset stomach, which is why I have a fence. But it's not dog friendly. But let me tell you, it just almost every day there's a new bloom. Blue moon? Or no, it's purple something amenity. Amenity. Um, you guys definitely need this. Flocks. Look at how much my hosta's growing. This was. This is supposed to bloom three times a year and I've gotten a pretty established plant but so far no blooms yet when I talked to the Home Depot people they said it might not bloom until fall for the first time the azalea is doing good after its bloom cycle Coral Bell is doing good. I don't like the name Heuchera, which is its scientific name. Blanket flowers. I got one in the mail and one for free at Meyer. Same variety, but I get to enjoy the limbs now. Meyer and Perks. Wonderful. Rhododendron's doing good. Shasta daisies haven't come up yet, the ones that I got, but they're going to be beautiful. And I planted some zinnias with those. Zinnias right there. I checked on this um, elephant ears root that my buddy gave me, and it's starting to produce roots. So I put it back in there, and it'll come up soon. Robbie's plant is doing good again. After the rain killed it last week, well, killed it as in the flowers, not the actual plant. That is a, a geranium that I got from my mom for Mother's Day, and it didn't do too hot, so I'm trying to revive it. I gave her something else instead. Need to deadhead some of these Stella de Oros. These are doing wonderful. They just deadhead the ones because daylilies, unlike the Asiatic lilies, daylilies only bloom for 24 hours. But if you remove the dead blooms, new ones will appear pretty quickly. Pastas are doing good. I need to pull the scents out just a bit. Um, zinnias and marigolds. In these, I'm going to plant some zinnias that are coming. And here, the sunflower seeds have sprouted. Exciting. My rosebud azalea is still blooming. It's my favorite plant that I have. And here is my um, forsythia. Still doing pretty good. I see a black leaf on here I'm going to take off. Forsythias are safe for dogs as well, and what you, um, the flowers that they produce are medicinal in property. I'm sorry if I sound all over the place. I um, still have a migraine a little bit, and it affects my speech sometimes. Here is my Sonic Bloom Wigella. 
it's not as lush as it was because I accidentally dropped some soil on it. However, it's okay. One or two of the branches came off, so it'll come back. This is a bee house that we got from Mason Bees, and hopefully they use it. But over here you can see my friend Lilac who's made her nest. So yeah, day garden is ever changing. Wajelas are still in bloom. Very beautiful. Keep you updated on that Lithodora. Hopefully root rot, I caught it early enough. Such a beautiful garden. Those bamboo sticks are to hold up a shade cloth when it's 90 degree days to protect the plants. And they are eating leaves from a dog safe plant I have, because it's actually good for them. Hi, Maymay. Hi, Coconut. <laughs>